day. No. So it's natural to just adapt to the environment that you're in. But as a Christian as well, Christians who should have these big visions adapt to the world's view rather than God's view. How did you go out there and build a $200 million company even though you were never around it? You would think you'd have to be around those types of people to do it. How did you shift your frame and dream bigger than your environment? Well, I, mean, I think in the beginning I wasn't, but then I started to be around those types of people, right? Like, mm -hmm. so in the beginning it was just friends and family, right? And my dad had always been, you know, made a couple hundred thousand dollars a year, like provided a great life, hustle sold. My mom was in education, she was a principal, <laughs> right? Yeah. So she did, she did great, she did fine, yeah. right? Like I, I, didn't, I didn't want for anything as a kid, like I, I was fine. But, so I didn't initially start around those types of people, but then I got around them. And I think that's really, and so, so that the inception of that was, first it was network marketing. So this is actually where we met, right? Yeah. So I signed up for this company, Buy to Buy Buy, in the 90 Day Challenge, right? And MLM is such a great vehicle if you're just like trying to learn leadership, selling, like you wanna learn the ropes of like what it takes to market and sell and create revenue without having to deal with any of the operational um, fulfillment, anything else, right? Like they literally give you a business in a box that you just have to go sell, Yep. right? And, uh, and so I think it's such a great vehicle. And so that was the first time I was around. And I remember there was an event in Austin, right where we are right now. And it was like the regional event for the company. And my dad was like, no, he's not serious. We're not taking him to the event. Cause I had signed up under my parents. I was under them, like they owned a gym and were promoting this health challenge, right? It made sense. And, and they were like, no, he's not ready. He doesn't take it serious, you know, cause I was like a heathen. I was like 17, mm -hmm. like I legally signed up like at 17. Like I think you have to be 18 to sign up for a distributorship yep. in one of these. And, and so, but my stepmom actually was like, Stephanie, she was like, no, he's gonna go. Like we gotta give him a chance. And, and so that getting at that event, there was like a thousand people there. There was like the speakers and I just never like, these people just thought bigger. And it was in the confines of MLM, right? So it wasn't like, like, you know, entrepreneur, it's not like, it's like half entrepreneurship. Yeah. Like MLM is like entrepreneurship 0.5. <laughs> like it's, I'm, it's I'm halfway sure there. That, that won't go over well, but yeah, yeah. that sounds good. <laughs> well, I think you own your own business to a point, but you don't really. Yeah. Cause you have no control. So, yeah. so you could argue it's you own your own business. It's like you have your own means to create um, to create income that's greater than jobs and you have control over that, mm -hmm. but you don't have control over anything else the business does, right? Yep. So, so anyway, th being around those people and then it turned into masterminds and mentors and like, and then it just became like peer groups and relationships. And so I think I started not around it knowing I was gonna be, I was different. Like I remember sitting in the back of my mom's um, Lexus and we were going through a McDonald's drive through and I, I had to have been like five years old or something. And I remember thinking like, okay, so she's like giving money, right? Like she'd hand the dollars out the window and we're like buying food, but like they're gonna keep the money, we're gonna keep the food, but like they had to get the food. The food wasn't like free. So there had to be like a cost. So they didn't keep all the money. Like my brain was thinking about margins like as a kid, yeah. not because like, I, like the money, it was just like, it fascinated me, like the economics of it.